G'day guys, back at Paul Pablo's. Um, Monaro's on the dyno. Uh, we had, um, did a couple of runs uh, last night. It still isn't making um, enough boost, so Sean's had the weight straight out. I'm gonna see you What do you got for us, Sean? What have you been doing, mate? Uh, so we just had some boost problems here. We sort of weren't making enough. Um, sort of seemed to be stuck about 10 pounds. So just pulled the wastegate off, um, added another spring. And I've set up the, the wastegate there with a couple of ports. So if I need to add the boost controller, um, I've got that there ready to go as well. So I think we'll put it back together as it is, pull a run, see how it goes. And then if we're still not making a boost, I'll wire up the boost controller and we'll see how we go there. So yeah, that's about where we're at. Perfect, and uh, right. thanks to Sparesbox for getting that um, boost controller for us. And got Steve here, our uh, tuner. He's just putting the um, smoke it. machine on, so we see if we've got any boost leaks anywhere. And then we make a few runs and get into it. Sean, what we uh, what we end up doing there, mate? Um, so we put the wastegate back on. Um, we reverted back to our 14 pound, or our two sevens, seven pound springs to, to make a base of 14. Yep. Um, we weren't seeing the boost we wanted. We we're only seeing about eight pounds boost. So just as a quick little test, I took the um, our pressure line off the, off the front of the housing. So basically, the wastegate was picking up from the front of the comp housing here. So I've just moved that to the back of the manifold just to see if we were getting a drop through the piping in our core and whatever. Um, and we actually picked up to about 11 and a half, just almost touching 12 pounds of boost. So that's probably something I'd expect to see with a 14 uh, pound setup. So what we've done now is just hooked up the boost controller. So we've just got it wired up into the Howtech um, and still I'm just running off the manifold. So hopefully we can just put a little bit more boost um, through it now and make a bit more power. I'm thinking about eight, eight and a half pound there, we made about 425, 430 kilowatts. Yep. So um, timing is still pretty conservative. Um, but you know, we'd rather put a bit more boost into it than too much timing, so. Yeah, yeah. all right, awesome. and six kilowatt at the rear wheels at about 15 pounds of boost which is more than enough uh, very happy with it I think we're gonna leave it around there got the boost control working on Steve's just um, got everything sort of dialed in and not sure if he's gonna do a couple more runs but I thought I'd show you what we have done in the back of the car here where we've um, put in a voltage controller for the fuel pump so that's that one there and then also we've got the flex fuel here which we got from the boys of spares box and all these other sensors and stuff that we will get to later on but it's a bit happening in here but um down the track i'll uh i'll get this uh get something made up and get it all covered um but yeah so at the moment i think that's we're pretty happy so i'm hopefully hopefully i can uh go for a bit of a cruise today and see how it's going but um we'll see if it's any different and um but the car's happy he was doing th third gear pulls and uh early on just to see where the see what was going on with the boost and then we sort of sorted all that out and i think 
now we lost so losing a bit of boost just through all the piping and everything like that and only a couple of couple of pounds so uh, we've got it up to about 16 pound now um, 15 16 pound and fire and kilowatt so 700 roughly 700 horsepower and uh, yeah so hopefully I can go for a bit of spin and then it's onto the dash pulling all this out and then bringing them putting the new one in and then hopefully she's done after that all right so back off the dyno and I'm going for another lap spent the day here today doing bits and pieces on the Monaro. Um, so what we've done today is we've put in a electric handbrake. Sean has. So this here. Got it all, all hooked up and then all it's got to do is just sort of go into uh, the cab uh, or into the car and it's got a pretty trick little, little button that will hide away somewhere in the car. On off and uh, yeah and then maybe down the track I'll be able to get might just put a hydraulic handbrake in where the old one is just because um, but also um, we had we've got to change the pinion angle on the diff because obviously we we're still getting some uh, rubbing on some bits and pieces there but um, so we've got the trailing arms out and uh, sent them back to Castle, Maine. And I like, spoke to them on the phone today, they were awesome. They just said, send them through, we'll, we'll modify them and then just send them straight back. No cost at all, so that's pretty good from them. Um, and also I've done a bit of work in, in the cab um, where we've been trying to get this dash moving. But um, sort of been a bit slow. Talk, cause we've got to get talk to Haltech to talk to Motec to uh, get some sort of, get one of them talking to the other. So it's been a bit of a uh, shit fight, but um, the boys are into it and getting into it. And I'm, I started pulling the dash out the other day, doing bits and pieces to pull this one, to put this one in. And it's a bit of a mess in here at the moment because I had to pull the carpet out to um, mount that bracket for the electric handbrake. but. Started pulling this out the other day, um, but yeah, we've got a still got a bit of work. That's the front seat, 
um, since been on the horse, I couldn't get that out. So, but yeah, that's sort of it for now. I've got some, bought some heat shield for under the bonnet and also for the dump pipe because turbo cars are just extremely hot. So, <coughs> sorry for the noise, the boys are just bringing all the cars in, it's knock off time. But, um, that's it for uh, this video. So hopefully in the next video I'll be driving the car around and have it at home. So stay tuned.